Dar es Salaam, formerly Mzima, is Tanzania's largest and richest city, a regionally important economic center. It is in the Dar es Salaam region administrative province, and consists of three local government areas or administrative districts, northern Kinindini, central Ilila, and southern Temek. The Dar es Salaam region had a population of 4,364,541 as of the official 2012 census. Though Dar es Salaam lost its status as capital city to Dodoma in 1974, it remains the locus of the permanent central government bureaucracy, and as the capital of the region. History In the 19th century, Msima was a coastal fishing village on the periphery of Indian Ocean trade routes. In 1865 or 1866, Sultan Majid bin Said of Zanzibar began building a new city very close to Msima and named it Dar es Salaam. The name is commonly translated as a bowed home of peace, based on the Arabic dad, and the Arabic is Salaam. Dar es Salaam fell into decline after Majid's death in 1870, but was revived in 1887 when the German East Africa Company established a station there. The town's growth was facilitated by its role as the administrative and commercial center of German East Africa and industrial expansion resulting from the construction of the Central Railway Line in the early 1900s. German East Africa was captured by the British during World War I and became Tanganyika, with Dar es Salaam the administrative and commercial center. Under British indirect rule, separate European and African areas developed at a distance from the city center. The city's population also included a large number of South Asians. After World War II, Dar es Salaam experienced a period of rapid growth. Political developments, including the formation and growth of the Tanganyika African National Union, led to Tanganyika attaining independence from colonial rule in December 1961. Dar es Salaam continued to serve as its capital, even when in 1964 Tanganyika and Zanzibar merged to form Tanzania. In 1973, however, provisions were made to relocate the capital to Dodoma, a more centrally located city in the interior. The relocation process has not yet been completed, and Dar es Salaam remains Tanzania's primary city. Geography Dar es Salaam is at 6A degree 48 A south, 39A degree 17 A east on a natural harbor on the eastern coast of Africa, with sandy beaches in some areas. Administratively, the Dar es Salaam region is divided into three districts, Ilila, Kinindini, and Temek. Population Dar es Salaam is the largest city in Tanzania. With a population increase of 5.6% per year from 2002 to 2012, the city is the third fastest growing in Africa, after Bamako and Lagos. The metro population is expected to reach 5.12 million by 2020. Economy and Infrastructure Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most important city for both business and government. The city contains high concentrations of trade and other services and manufacturing compared to other parts of Tanzania, which has about 80% of its population in rural areas. Downtown includes many small businesses many of which are run by traders and proprietors whose families originated from the Middle East and Indian subcontinental Euro areas of the world with which the settlements of the Tanzanian coast have had long-standing trading relations. Dar es Salaam has a problem with slums. According to a United Nations estimate, 70% of the city's population lives in informal settlements. The poorer residents crowd into downtown areas or large slums, many without running water or basic services. The more wealthy live in beachside mansions in the city's northern districts. On a natural harbor on the Indian Ocean, it is the hub of the Tanzanian transportation system as the main railways and several highways originate in or near the city. Dar es Salaam has had, in the past few years, a major construction boom. The Benjamin William MKAPA Pension Tower with more than 21 stories is the tallest building in the city and the country. Dar es Salaam has major infrastructural problems, including an outdated transport system and occasional power rationing. Climate Because it is close to the equator and the warm Indian Ocean, the city experiences generally tropical climatic conditions, typified by hot and humid weather throughout much of the year. It has a tropical wet and dry climate. 
annual rainfall is approximately 1,100 mm, and in a normal year there are two rainy seasons, the long rains in April and May and the short rains in October and November. Transportation The Julius Nyerere International Airport is the principal airport serving the country. Tanzania Railways operates the central line from Dar es Salaam to Kigama. The Tizara Railway connects Dar es Salaam to Zambia. Most intracity transport is by the Dala Dala or Dar es Salaam commuter rail. The bus rapid transit system under construction will be operated by the Dar Rapid Transit Agency, a government entity, and is expected to open at the end of 2014. DART is being sponsored by the World Bank. Dala Dala minibuses are involved in many road accidents, accounting for a large percentage of the 4,000 plus yearly road deaths. Daladas are cheap and often overcrowded. They are operated by a driver and a conductor, the conductor collects the fare and signals the driver to leave. They tend to be overcrowded, with passengers sometimes hanging outside the door. Culture Dar es Salaam has heavy traffic during the daytime, but after sunset the area is relatively quiet as much of the city's nightlife is located in more residential districts away from the city's main commercial center. The sprawling suburbs furthest from the city center are generally populated by Tanzanians of African descent, with the exception of Oyster Bay, where there is a large population of foreign expatriates. The edges of Dar es Salaam are spreading rapidly, severely taxing the transportation network and raising the prospect of future urban overcrowding. Food Due in part to the growth of the expatriate community and the increasing importance of tourism, the number of international restaurants has risen very rapidly over recent years. The city now offers a rich and internationalized diversity of cuisine, ranging from traditional Tanzanian barbecue-style options such as Nyama Choma and Mishkaki, and the long-established traditional Indian and Zanzibari cuisine, to options from all corners of the globe including Chinese, Thai, Turkish, Italian, and Japanese food. People who prefer neither fast food nor traditional restaurants buy their food from street vendors, who usually sell food at low prices. Samosas are common street food items within the city. Music There is also a lively music scene in Dar es Salaam which is divided between several styles. The longest standing segment is live dance music bands such as DDC Limani Park Orchestra. Terab which was traditionally strong in Zanzibar has also found a niche but remains small compared both to dance music and bongo flava, a broad category that represents the Tanzanian take on hip-hop and R&B, which has quickly become the most popular locally produced music. Traditional music, which locally is used to refer to tribal music is still performed but typically only on family-oriented occasions such as weddings. This rap scene has been present and growing for the past 10 years as city life has drawn much of the youth in surrounding areas have made the trek into a more urban lifestyle in search of a new better beginning. In the 1970s, the Ministry of National Youth Culture aimed to create a national culture, which stressed the importance of music. Dar es Salaam became the new music center in Tanzania, with the local radio exposing new bands and dominating the music and cultural scene. With this Ajamaa, or family, mentality governing culture and music a unified Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark S culture was created. Dar es Salaam became a center of city crime, gangs, and violence, which led to the rise of hip-hop music. Throughout the years, the radio in Dar es Salaam has played a major role in the dissemination of music because many people don't know Euro unregistered trademark T have televisions and cassettes are used over CDs. Tourism Dar es Salaam has two of the five museums comprising the National Museum of Tanzania Consortium, namely the National Museum Proper and the Village Museum. The National Museum is dedicated to the history of Tanzania. Most notably, it exhibits some of the bones of Paranthropus Boase that were among the findings of Louis Leakey at Old Dubai. The Village Museum, located in the outskirts of the city on the road to Bagamoyo, showcases traditional huts from 16 different Tanzanian ethnic groups. There are also examples of traditional cultivations, and traditional music and dance shows are held daily. Close to the National Museum are also the botanical gardens, with some specimens of tropical plants and trees. 
There are beaches on the Mzasani Peninsula north of Dar es Salaam and in Kigamboni to the south where residents and tourists alike frequently visit. Trips to the nearby islands of the Dar es Salaam Marine Reserve are a popular day trip from the city and a favorite spot for snorkeling, swimming and sunbathing. In addition to that, Bongoyo Island can be reached by boat from the Mzasani Slipway. Art Dar es Salaam is home to the popular Tinga Tinga painting style. The Nyumba Yar Sanaya is a well-known cultural center, workshop and shop dedicated to Tanzanian art, showcasing and promoting Tanzanian craftsmanship. Prominent Tanzania sculptor George Lilinga has contributed to the center some of his works, including decorations of the building's main entrance. Sport The national stadium hosts Dar es Salaam's Young Africans Football Club, Simba Sports Club, other Tanzanian football clubs, and many other international matches. Newspapers Dad has a considerable number of newspapers available, particularly from sellers prowling through stationary traffic at road intersections. English language ones, with online presences, include The Citizen and The Guardian and the leading Kiswahili Daily, Munankai. Internet access Installation of a Trans Indian Ocean backbone cable in 2009 has, in theory, made Internet access much more readily available in Dar in particular and in East Africa in general. However, rollout to end users is slow, partly because of spotty telephone line coverage, partly due to the substantial prices and long contracts demanded for purchase of bandwidth for small ISPs. Mobile telephone access to the Internet via 3G and 3.75G is still relatively expensive. Internet cafes are fairly well distributed in the city center. The expressed aim of the SIACOM cable is to enable East Africa to develop economically through increased online trading. Globalization Globalization has affected many of the cultural expressions in Dar es Salaam, in particular, hip-hop music and culture. The hip-hop scene in Dar es Salaam articulates a blending of local cultural struggles and the indigenization of global influences. Hip-hop music and culture arrived in Tanzania, taking its cues from various African-American styling. Dar es Salaam, a city projected to have over 5 million inhabitants within the next decade, continues to be the one city in Tanzania to which villagers flock for better opportunities. Westerners and Asians are also settling in Dar es Salaam, and the surge of foreigners has put pressure on Dar es Salaam officials to implement laws better accommodating the growing diverse population of Dar es Salaam and its suburbs. Safety Safety has become a noticeable feature in Dar es Salaam and many other Tanzanian cities. Although Dar es Salaam is one of the safest large cities in East Africa, violent crimes and homicides are becoming more frequent in Dar es Salaam. Chain snatching is relatively common in the Karaiku area. Although pickpockets frequent the city center and daladlers and prey especially on foreigners, in the last couple of years, reports of violent crimes in Dar es Salaam have become more and more frequent. Education Dar es Salaam is also the educational center of Tanzania. The city is home to many educational institutions. Universities The University of Dar es Salaam is the oldest and second largest public university in Tanzania after University of Dodoma. It is located in the western part of the city, occupying 1,625 acres on the Observation Hill, 13 km from the city center. The university has approximately 16,400 undergraduate and 2,700 postgraduate students. RD University had 2,457 undergraduate and 156 postgraduate students in 2010-2011. The university offers two-year diploma programs in the fields of land surveying and land management and valuation. A three-year diploma program in urban and rural planning has been introduced. Muay Malai University of Health and Allied Sciences has two campuses. Muay Malai Campus and Mloganzila Campus. Muay Malai Campus is situated in Ilila Municipality, in Upanga along United Nations Road. Mloganzila Campus is still new and in the process of development and it occupies 3,800 acres and is located 3 km off Dar es Salaam Roguro Highway, 25 km from Dar es Salaam. The Open University of Tanzania is a fully-fledged and accredited public institution of higher learning, 
mandated to conduct academic programs leading to certificates, diplomas, undergraduate and postgraduate qualifications. Since it was founded, the university has enrolled students from Malawi, Uganda, Kenya, Namibia, Hungary, Burundi, Libya, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia, Lesotho, Botswana and most of Tanzania. As of 2008, the total enrollment at the university was 44,099, the majority of whom were Tanzanian. The Hubert Kairuki Memorial University is a private institution located on plot number 322 Regent Estate in the Mikokini area, some 7 km from the Dar es Salaam city centre, off Ali Hassan Wine and Old Bagamwo Roads. The International Medical and Technological University is a privately owned institute of higher education institution operating in Dar es Salaam. The Kampala International on Iversitia Euro began operations in 2009 operating from Quality Plaza along Puga Road. Currently, the university center is situated on a 60 acres of land, at Gongo Lumboto area in Ilila district, 7 km from Walamu Julius near Rir International Airport along Puga Road. Suburbs, Dar es Salaam is divided into three districts, Ilila, Kinindani, and Temek. All three are governed as municipal councils, and so all of the city's suburbs or wards are affiliated with them. Kinindani, Kinindani is the most populated amongst the districts, with half of the city's population residing within it. It is also home to many of the high-income suburbs. These include, Masaki, Oyster Bay and Ada Estate are the posh suburbs located along the central beach. During the colonial era, they were the major European suburbs of the city. Now, similarly, many diplomats and expatriates reside in these areas. Oyster Bay Beach, also known as Coco Beach, is the only white sandy beach in Kinindini and is the most famous in the area. Many newly built luxury apartments line the waterfront, accommodating the rapid growth of foreigners, mostly Europeans and Asians. Mikokini and Regent Estate are also suburbs within the district. According to the 2012 census, the Mikokini ward had a population of 32,947. Mikokini is the home of some major political figures, including the first president of Tanzania, Julius K. Nyerere, and opposition party leader, Freeman Mba. Mzasani is a peninsula to the northeast of the city center. It is home to many of the expatriates from the United Kingdom and other Western countries that live in Dar es Salaam. Mzasani contains a mixture of traditional shops and western-oriented resorts and stores. Mbizi Beach is the beachfront suburb located along the northern Dar es Salaam beach. It is noted for its beautiful beaches with several tourist hotels, and also is the place of residence of many people of high social status and some politicians. Sinza, Kijiton Yama, Megumni, Kinindani and Mwenj are more ethnically mixed than the areas mentioned above. These were perhaps the earliest African suburbs to be occupied. The wards also have the most prosperous business climate outside of the central business district, with many shops, bars, restaurants and inexpensive hotels located here. Kimara and Mbizi Louis are hilly, mostly upper class, suburbs far from the city. Due to the distance from the city centre, it is quieter, with cooler weather. Manzis, Tandale. Mwan in Amala Kisaiwani and Kigo are considered low-income neighborhoods characterized by poor settlement planning, low-quality housing and social services. Ilila Ilila is the administrative district of the city where almost all government offices and ministries are housed. The central business district is also located in this district. Furthermore, it is the transportation hub of the city, as the Julius Nyerere International Airport, Central Railway Station and Tazara Railway Station are all within the district boundaries. The residential areas are mainly middle to high income, and some of these are, Upanga and Kaiser to have the highest concentration of Asian communities within Dar es Salaam, with many residents of Indian and Arabian descent. These areas are also famous for the many colonial houses and mansions built in Indian, Arabic and European styles. Karaiku is the shopping district of the city perhaps the busiest and largest in East Africa. Many shops, bazaars and merchants dot the streets, selling a variety of products, 
from foodstuffs to hardware materials. The Karayaku Market, which is the largest, contains the only underground section of the city. It is the major supply point of the food consumed by all the residents of Dar es Salaam. Tabata, Sejria and Irkung are located a bit far from the city centre, these suburbs are growing to become among the busiest in terms of business and entertainment. This has caused serious traffic congestion, which is said to be the worst in all of Dar es Salaam. Ilila this is also among the middle-income suburbs, very near to the city centre, marked by the Askari Monument and contains some rival gang groups in the city and suburb areas. Most of the gang activities include drugs trafficking, money laundry, extortion and racketeering. Most famous gang groups are recognized by the color of the scarf, bandana, these are the black gang, red gang and blues gang fighting for control and to maintain their territories and interests. Temek, Temek is the industrial district of the city, where the main manufacturing centers are located. The port of Dar es Salaam, which is the largest in the country, is also found here. Temek is believed to have the largest concentration of low-income residents due to industry. Also, many port officials, military and police officers live here. Khoraisni located right on the Dar es Salaam harbor, is the home of the Dar es Salaam port, the police college, Mgilani police barracks and the Dar es Salaam international trade fair grounds. Thus, the main residents are police officers and port officials. Changom, this suburb is one of the only higher income areas in Temek. It has maintained this status due to occupation by African high colonial officers and some industry owners from the colonial era. Changom is also the home of the Dar es Salaam University College of Education, the National Stadium and Ayurus Stadium. Temek, Mtoni and Tandikar are middle to low income suburbs. Mbegla and Kaijichi also are middle to low income suburbs where Mbegla is the largest suburb in the whole district, and is also considered a slum. Kigamboni is a beachfront suburb on a peninsula with very beautiful, sandy beaches. It is home to a mixed population of lower and higher incomes. There is demand from higher income people to live in Kigamboni due to its low population density and proximity to the sea, but this demand is constrained by the area being mainly accessible by ferry involving long waiting times for those wishing to cross in a private vehicle, although crossing the ferry on foot or bicycle is quite quick. There are several popular beach resorts in Kigamboni. Sports Dar es Salaam is the sports center of Tanzania. Dar es Salaam hosts the second largest stadium in East and Central Africa, which can accommodate up to 60,000 people. The city is home of the most famous and rival soccer clubs, the Simba Sports Club and Young African Sports Club. Apart from the national stadium, Dar es Salaam is home to the Uluru Stadium, Karu Memorial Stadium, the Gymkhana golf courses, and also has tennis courts, squash courts, and a fitness club. Outside the metropolitan districts, there is the Lugalo military golf course. Notable people, David Ajay, London-based architect, born in Dar es Salaam in 1966. Joachim Cusano, former president of Mozambique, was the head of the Frelimo headquarters in Dar es Salaam where he lived for many years before returning to Mozambique after the country won independence. Kanyama Kayam, one of the main leaders in the independence struggle in Nyasaland where he served as Minister of Education and then as Minister of Foreign Affairs before going into exile in Tanzania, lived in Dar es Salaam for decades. He grew up in Tanganyika. He spent his childhood in Roguru and in Dar es Salaam and attended primary school and secondary school in Tanganyika. When he was in boarding school in Dar es Salaam, he lived in the same dormitory with Rashidi Kawa who later became vice president of Tanganyika, later Tanzania, after the country won independence. Kawa was also his classmate at Tabora Secondary School. Kayam graduated from Makaria University College in Uganda and went to teach at Alliance Secondary School in Dodoma, Tanganyika. After he left Malawi in 1964 to go into exile in Tanzania, he went to live in Dar es Salaam again. He also worked in Dar es Salaam for many years as a journalist at The Nationalist, a newspaper of the ruling party TANU, together with Benjamin Mkapa who was then the editor and who later became president of Tanzania. Rawal Dahl, famous writer, 
lived in Dar es Salaam 1934 Euro 1939. Jane Goodall, scientist, and internationally renowned primatologist. Marin Hinkle, actress, two and a half men TV show. Rachel Luttrell, actress, Stargate Atlantis, born in Dar es Salaam in 1971. Nairn Masawan, Scotland rugby union player and second national coach was born in Dar es Salaam. Yawari Musvini, president of Uganda, lived in Dar es Salaam for many years, first as a student and later as a political refugee. He went to the University of Dar es Salaam where he studied economics and political science. One of his professors was Walter Rodney, a distinguished scholar from Guyana who wrote his highly influential book, How Europe Underdeveloped Africa, in the early 70s when he was teaching at the University of Dar es Salaam. Godfrey Mwakikagar, a prominent Tanzanian author and Africanist. He attended school in Dar es Salaam and worked in the same city as a journalist before going to the United States for further studies. He later became a renowned author of non-fiction books about Africa and the African diaspora and one of the most prominent Africanist scholars. Yuma Mwepu, a leading Tanzanian diplomat, lawyer and author of a number of books about African politics and economics who once served as Secretary General of the East African Community. Harith Paula Euro fashion model. Walter Rodney Euro a Ghanese historian, political activist and preeminent scholar. He was the author of How Europe Underdeveloped Africa. He taught at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania from 1966 to 1967 and later at his alma mater, the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus, Kingston, Jamaica. In 1969, Rodney returned to the University of Dar es Salaam where he served as a professor of history until 1974 before going back to Guyana where he was assassinated in June 1980. Justinian Ruwiremam, prominent Tanzanian economist, author and professor of economics at the University of Dar es Salaam. One of the leading African economists who also worked at the United Nations and served as an economic advisor to Tanzania's first president, Julius Nyerere. Issa G. Shivi, a prominent Tanzanian academic and prolific author and one of Africa's leading experts on constitutional law and development issues. He served as professor of law at the University of Dar es Salaam for many years and was the first to hold the Mwalimu Julius Nyerere Research Chair in Pan African Studies at the university. Also taught at a number of universities around the world. Hashim Fabita Euro Oklahoma City Thunder Basketball Center. Paul von Letter Verbecker Euro Commander of the German East African Army, composed of European German officers and senior non commissioned officers and native black African Askaris, undefeated by the British and South Africans between the Great War's outbreak in August, 1914 and the armistice in November, 1918. Twin towns are Euro sister cities, Dar es Salaam is twinned with, Hamburg, Germany, Samsun, Turkey, Yi Wu, Zhejiang, China, References External links